Okay, this is the fifth in a series of videos that I'm currently in the process of making as supplements to some of the tutorials that I posted to my PFSense blog, uh, pfsensesetup.com. And today I'm going to cover aliases. And first we're going to log into the PFSense web GUI. And we're going to, aliases are used in the context of uh, firewall rules. So we're going to go to firewall. And the first option is aliases, and we're going to click on it. And they even have this very helpful blurb here. Aliases act as placeholders for real hosts. Actually, let's, let me uh, change the uh, zoom in a little bit so it looks better. Uh, aliases act as placeholders for real host networks or ports that can be used to minimize the number of changes that have to be made to host network or port changes. So, in other words, um, I might have a computer that has a certain IP address, and I might have some rules associated with with that uh, computer. For example, I might have port forwarding to that computer for a number of different applications, uh, you know, DCC or, or, or whatnot, and uh, if that IP address changes, then if I didn't have aliases, I would have to go in and manually change the IP address for each of the rules, but if I have an alias defined for that IP address, then I just have to change the IP address and the alias, which is quite helpful. So I'm going to click on the plus button to add a new alias. And let's assume that we want to define an alias for the uh, a Dell desktop that I have, which I will name conveniently enough Dell Desktop. And we'll uh, enter a description here too, the Dell Desktop that is in the basement and let's see type well in this case it's, it's a host but obviously we can define aliases for different entities for, for an entire network for port URL or table of URLs and I'm going to click on the plus button that we have uh, at, at host and we're going to type in the IP address. Let's just assume the IP address is 192.168.1.100. And we're going to enter a description alias for the Dell desktop. And we'll click save. And the alias name must be less than 32 characters long. long. Okay, I entered in, in a character is not allowed, a dash. So I'm going to change it to Dell underscore desktop, and hopefully this will work. And the alias list has changed. You must apply the changes for them to take effect. So I'll click on Apply Changes. And there we go, Dell desktop that is in the basement. So now if I wanted to define a firewall rule, for example, and you know, we could go in here and add a new rule. And let's see, let's assume that we wanted to uh, forward things that were in the port range. 5,000, 5,010, and the destination is a single host or alias, and we can type Dell desktop in it automatically. The autocomplete uh, fills it in for us. So there we go, Dell desktop. So we can add a rule for the Dell desktop. Well, that covers aliases, and I'm not sure what the next video is going to be about, but I will undoubtedly come up with an idea for the next video. So this covers aliases. Now I'm done.